Hi a very good day, this is Olive again, have come with another episode on ongoing research and development in space exploration so let's begin. In a groundbreaking development poised to revolutionize space exploration, a UK-based space firm is on the verge of unveiling a momentous creation, a nuclear fusion rocket engine that promises to achieve temperatures surpassing those found at the heart of the sun itself. This extraordinary technology, harnessing the immense power of nuclear fusion, could mark a significant leap forward in our ability to propel spacecraft across vast cosmic distances with unprecedented speed and efficiency. Pulsar Fusion, a UK-based space firm, is building a nuclear fusion-based rocket engine that could exceed temperatures on the Sun. The construction of the largest ever fusion rocket engine has begun, and its exhaust speeds could exceed 500,000 miles per hour. Nuclear fusion has long been proposed to answer our energy and climate change woes as it promises a cleaner power source. Inspired by the sun, scientists have been working to build nuclear fusion reactors and have succeeded in generating record high temperatures but not more energy than they have put in. However, Richard Dinan, the founder, and CEO of Pulsar Fusion, is confident that nuclear fusion will propel spacecraft long before it powers devices on Earth. His company has been working with the UK Space Agency to build a fusion-based rocket engine that will surpass the temperatures of the sun when it gets to work. The Direct Fusion Drive Pulsar Fusion is working on the Direct Fusion Drive DFD, which aims to generate thrust directly from nuclear fusion rather than using an intermediary step such as producing electricity. In Pulsar's DFD, the reactor generates energy creating a plasma of electrically charged particles which then uses a rotating magnetic field to generate thrust, where particles from the exhaust will escape at speeds of 500,000 miles an hour. While this is hypothetical for now, it opens up the possibility of exploring areas outside the solar system since reaching Pluto will take 4 to 5 years with the DFD, unlike a decade required now. Saturn's moon, Titan, will be just 2 years away. Using AI to learn more. The key to generating energy through fusion is sustained heat, and with the DFD, pulsar fusion is expected to create a source hotter than the sun. But confining this hot plasma is also a challenge, and the company is teaming up with Princeton Satellite Systems, PSS, an aerospace research and development company to use artificial intelligence and machine learning to study the data from the Princeton Field Reverse Configuration, PFRC2, reactor. The collaboration is looking to develop simulations of the basis of the reactor's gas puffing data, which will help them predict ion and electron behavior. Accurate simulations are needed to create a closed-loop reactor that could one day propel a rocket. This is easier said than done since plasma has been notoriously difficult to predict using conventional techniques. Sometimes, even after reaching millions of degrees of temperature, the reaction stops. The study will also help the researchers understand the behavior of plasma under electromagnetic heating and confinement. This will determine how the plasma particles will exit the rocket engine and if they can deliver the high speed of space travel that is possible in theory. Humanity has a huge need for faster propulsion in our growing space economy, and fusion offers 1,000 times the power of the conventional ion thrusters currently used in orbit, Dinan said in a press release. In short, if humans can achieve fusion for energy, then fusion propulsion in space is inevitable. People also ask, what is a nuclear propulsion system? Nuclear thermal propulsion technology provides high thrust and twice the propellant efficiency of chemical rockets. The system works by transferring heat from the reactor to a liquid propellant. That heat converts the liquid into a gas, which expands through a nozzle to provide thrust and propel a spacecraft. How efficient is nuclear propulsion? Nuclear thermal propulsion is about twice as efficient as chemical rockets and can shorten travel times while delivering greater payloads. For example, a trip to Mars can be reduced by a quarter. What are the benefits of nuclear thermal rockets? Using a nuclear thermal rocket allows for faster transit time, reducing risk for astronauts. Reducing transit time is a key component for human missions to Mars, as longer trips require more supplies and more robust systems. There are some of the key advantages of nuclear thermal rockets. Power generation. In addition to providing propulsion, nuclear thermal rockets can also generate electrical power on long-duration missions. 
This can be vital for powering scientific instruments, life support systems, and other equipment, enabling spacecraft to operate effectively even in regions with limited sunlight or no atmosphere. One of the most significant advantages of NTRs is their independence from Earth's resources. They utilize nuclear reactors to heat propellant, which means they don't rely on the availability of atmospheric oxygen or other chemical propellants found on Earth. This characteristic makes NTRs particularly useful for extended missions that venture far beyond our planet. While safety concerns surrounding nuclear technology exist, NTRs are designed with multiple layers of safety measures to minimize risks. The reactors are shielded to prevent radiation leakage, and rigorous safety protocols are followed during their operation. Nuclear thermal rockets can be adapted for various mission profiles and destinations. Whether exploring nearby planets, conducting interstellar missions, or traveling to the outer reaches of our solar system, NTRs provide a versatile propulsion system that can handle diverse tasks efficiently. In conclusion, nuclear thermal rockets offer compelling advantages that have the potential to revolutionize space exploration. Their high efficiency, extended range, and versatility make them a promising option for crewed missions, interplanetary travel, and long-duration space missions, ultimately propelling humanity further into the cosmos. However, it is crucial to continue research and development, address safety concerns, and implement responsible practices to harness the full potential of nuclear thermal rocket technology. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share and comments. Stay connected for more updates.